Welcome to Earth, a beautiful place where I think Earth has a little bit too much population. So you know what we're going to do? Let's give them some asteroids. You know, they always say there's going to be asteroids on Earth, but I think dif differently. Not just billions of them. <laughs> Um, I might have just ended up killing you like, the entire United States, but <laughs> um, okay. Anyways, welcome to Solar Smash, a game where I'm actually making a video on it, where I actually do dumb crap with it. So first, we have to show you these worlds. If you didn't see. How I got all these secret worlds. Go watch my previous Solar Smash videos. Oh, crap. Uh, come on! Anyways, um, this is the first one. This is Donut Earth. And as you can see, it's a donut. Because what else would it be? And, yeah. So, my question is, is one of these dig things, they're like, those things from like Austin Powers or whatever. If I drill them in Earth, the donut earth would it make its way to the other side would it just turn like an idiot and be like nope not today satan okay so far so good it's drilling in is it ever gonna come out it's going really slow mm. well there it is there it is you go wait are you turning you idiot go back oh, idiot. whatever is where is it coming out? Is it coming out of Australia or something like that? Just saying, if there's any place I want to go to, is Austra it's Australia. I'm not sure why I want to get bitten by like those poisonous spiders or snakes. It's I just want to go to Australia, mate. Anyways, um, yeah. So it's been proven that your Earth is stupid. Now, what if we take these laser things that keep drilling no matter what until your Earth? Or a planet or whatever is sliced in half like a bagel. Now we're gonna actually gonna make Donut Earth into a burnt bagel by summoning fifty thousand of them. I'm pretty sure Earth is fine with this, right? Like they're only just here to like eat your soul or whatever. I'm, I'm sorry, not eat it, burn your soul. Because we like burning your soul here or whatever, whatever they call it. Um. Oh, how is the sun dealing with this? Like, come on, the sun is getting, like, all these lasers, and it's like, I'm fine with this. I love red lasers. And now my donut earth is literally a burnt bagel. But if I use this yellow laser and shoot the sun with it, it's fine with, it's not fine with the thick laser, but a tiny little laser is fine. Oh, yeah, you just see... All the um, those ships explode, and oh, my eyes, it's so bright. <laughs> it's really bright here. Yeah, so this is the ghost world. Our second planet we're going to be dealing with. And as you can see, since it's the ghost world, let's give them the, the shadow version of One Punch Man. Or like, the giant version of Hulk in space that punch in half. You're returning home. You also hate it because you want to kill Earth or whatever. But I don't care. Well, yeah. It's, that's Ghost World for ya. <laughs> Imagine there's like one human on there. And he's just like... What happened to half of the house? Anyways, this is the snowman. Now I have a quick burning question. It's a snowman. And it's made out of snow. Because it's called a snowman. If I use, like, one of those beams over there. Like the ice one, I think it's named. Oh, no. Let me just go look at it real quick. Yes, yeah, the ice beam. Would I freeze the planet? You know? Uh, nope. No. What if I do that hole? Will it regenerate? No. Okay, what if I do, like, what if I try to decapitate it? Oh, well, it can burn its face off and stuff. You want me to decapitate it? <laughs> oh, yeah, so I just ripped the snowman's face off. 
as you can clearly see. And yeah, so it's been proven that you cannot kind of do that. But you know, instead, we're going to grab one of those laser things we did earlier. Wait, not that one. Th this one. Look, you know this one, right? We know, all know it. That one where if you summon like 50 of them, it just rips it entire through the entire planet. But yeah, it's technically like one of those... Uh, <laughs> Stupid! You can see the laser just being slammed through the snowman. Oh my god. This is like one of those, like, things, you know, like, you know, you have, like, those. I can't think of it, okay? You know, we're just gonna decapitate it now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take those three balls you used to make the snowman. We're gonna try and separate it from each other. So we're gonna do um those two, or we're gonna do the top ones. And we're gonna decapitate it. Decapitation! You lose it! Yeah! We're decapitating it. Yeah! loved my head. I don't think I want to lose it today. <sighs> Anyways, this is the last planet we have. It's Flat Earth. Because we love flat things. And one thing I discovered is that if you shoot the sun several times, it'll explode like a supernova. But the planet won't die. Like, it's still fine. And another thing, the moon is so small. But I'm gonna replace it with this huge moon. I love how the, the huge moon is just like, this is my planet, get out of here. And then the small moon is just like, no, I wanna, I, I wanna go to flat Earth, not, I don't know, Uranus. <laughs> they think that one guy in like Jupiter is gonna be like, I finally made it, and just gets hit. Anyways, if you see what we're doing here, we're gonna dig a straight hole through flat Earth with moons. This is what you get for replacing Earth, damn it. Anyways, um, I'm pretty sure America is was like. I'm pretty sure where my house is somewhere over there has just been took in by the uh the whatchamacallit, the uh the moon. Now I have a burning question right here. Can I slice the flat earth in half? With moons. Like, I've already done part of it, but I think we should try it out. So let's reset the planet. As we get you get the sun back. I missed you, sun. And we're just gonna slice it in half. I know that's that moon right there. It's like, hey, sun, you wanna go out? No? Too bad. <laughs> and the sun's like, you barely even hit me, you idiot. <sighs> And stuff like this resembles why we cannot have good things in Solar Smash. Like taking the sun into the internal abyss of space with me is really nice. I'm pretty sure that sun is going to be the next character for the B movie. Like the second. What if they have like the B movie the second? <laughs> I don't know, okay. Now we're just going to finish slicing this planet. And while we're trying, I would love if you guys subscribed, because I would love to get the 1,000 subscribers to get my first YouTube plaque. Because at that point, I would just show, you, I would just do like a, a video showcase it or whatever. I don't know. Please subscribe, all right? We're almost at 300 subs. Thank you for all the support you guys gave me back in the the, uh, the, the days, the weeks or so of my clear crown. Phase three. There's just some random car in the distance. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that. Yeah.
Yeah, anyways, so this is Sliced Earth. Yeah, we love it. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. We have one more planet. Well, not one more, but you know, one of our last ones. This is Jupiter. And as you can see, if I laser it several times, like, like really hard, as you could see, like, if I put a burning hole through it, it'll just grow back into limbs. But, like, sure, it shrinks a little because it loses its gas, because it's a gas giant. But it just grows back, like Deadpool's limbs. But if I reset it, the planet looks bigger. So what happens if I, you know, take the thunderstorms? <laughs> Yes, it's like no nope, not today. I always wanted to exit the solar system. <sighs> oh my god. Yeah, this is uh, Jupiter now. Hope you guys love the gas giant. It's now the smallest planet in the galaxy. <laughs> this is the new smallest planet in the galaxy now, right? It's Jupiter. Now this is the machine world. And as you can see, if you probably know already, it has a shield. But if I take these bombs, put it at 5 power, then put 66. Yeah, and that core over there. Those are um, And they're going to shoot them. Because let's say, this is the enemy for a star base of star tours or whatever. Star Wars sounds copyright, so how about we just say, um, solar, solar battle, <laughs> whatever, okay? So, uh, we're gonna summon, like, 500 of those missiles, and then their enemy captain, not their enemy captain, but, like, the captain of the ship comes in and tries to help and fix them. Come on, captain, you can do it. Yay, Jeff Bezos. <laughs> I just don't understand why this Bezos but it's like space for 36 seconds, whatever. Now the captain is finally in here, but oh no, it's useless in here. He can't touch the core because he'll die. He'll try to shoot it, but he has to be far enough to shoot it. So what he's going to do, he's just going to go out back outside. But he's an idiot and forgets that the, um, the sun is missing. What is he going to, I mean, not the sun, shield. What is he going to do? die and now they get really angry and get me. Oh, instant death karma <laughs> this is what you get for killing my captain <laughs> Yeah, the shield broke, right? The shield almost broke. Yeah! This is amazing! Look at this. They have so many. Death. This is what happens when you kill a captain, your whole planet gets destroyed. But see, so people are still alive. Is people really resistant in this world? Is this like future Earth? So we're just gonna summon these missiles, and you might wonder what they do. Well, if you watch other YouTubers do this game, you probably know what these do. But if you don't, I'll teach you. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, guys, I think that's the end of this video. I kind of hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe. Watch my videos on how to get to all those secret planets if you never watched them yet. Subscribe. I said that once, like, f 15 times in this video. It's because I want you to.